Hello, this video to show how to export from Orca 3D to Maestro uh, surface model into a 3D structure model. Let's first create a hull form using the Orca hull assistant with a few parameters uh, to, to play with. and create the hull. That's my hull form. Perhaps let's iterate a bit on the uh, on, on the fairing to show directly the uh, final result. Which would be this would be my 150 meter fast ferry hull form. I will use the Orca 3D hull as, uh, section assistant to create some stations. Note that I uh, created some uh, sets of stations that with a different color to identify the boundaries of my uh, modules for the Maestro model. Then I will attach the GA in Plan View and in Profile View by importing a, a DWG file. Okay, this is a Rhino command here. We go. Then I will just project my uh, girder uh, traces onto the whole form. Project. There we go. Then I want to do the same with the, the longitudinal view, in which case I turn the C-plane to front, so that the projection is uh, uh, transversal onto the top side. Here we go. Then let's turn off a few layers so that we see those projected lines. And those are my uh, stations, my Orca 3D stations. Then I will build my uh, array of uh, endpoints. So going from a uh, red station to the next red station at each intersection. You may want to make sure that you have your uh, Rhino OSNAP set accordingly. Those uh, would be my decks. So I have a, a garage deck, I have a mid deck, and then I have the main deck at the top. Then let's start to draw the uh, the track connection lines. Those information will tell Maestro where to start and end each uh, strike. Okay. Uh, Then I want to add and some uh, extra uh, endpoints to define the uh, those are the would be the tank top uh, endpoints. Okay, and let's do the same for the main deck girders. Project onto this. Okay, and just to save on time, I did three uh, blocks in one go, three modules in one go. Okay, let's concentrate on this first one. We are ready to go. We'll now use a, <coughs> a Rhino script that was written by uh, DRS in the US, developers of Orca 3D. And I will use this uh, uh, VB script to prepare this uh, file for import into Maestro. So I first select the endpoints, then select the uh, reference, uh, the, the strike connection lines. And I create this file, which I called a labeled F, uh, for because it's meant to be the block F of my uh, uh, fast ferry. Then I will do the same for block G and block H. Let's 
now open the uh, Maestro window and go on and import the modules with the PLY interface. Module F first, check the units, millimeters. Okay. The same with uh, mo uh, module G. And module H. Next step is to uh, redistribute the uh, stations for each one of the three modules. I will set uh, five sections at interval 1.5 meter. This is for module F. Module G. I start to have a good feel of my uh, structural layout. Next, I will uh, assign the right properties to each strike, and I will, for that, create a, a, a group of uh, elements uh, composed, to start with, uh, composed of the uh, bottom strikes. So I'm creating the group, and now I'll be able to go and modify the properties of that group. Modify. I will change the plate thickness to well, 12 millimeter. My frame scantling. My uh, longitudinal stiffener layout. And eventually, I will just flip the normal direction of the frames. Yes, so now I can see that my bottom strikes have been uh, assigned the correct properties. And let's look at what would be a finished uh, model, a finished structural model ready for structural analysis and eventually uh, for sea keeping analysis thanks to the uh, Maestro Wave module. complete uh, fast ferry. Thank you for watching and uh, don't hesitate to contact us for any question. Thank you.